Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome back to Dinner with the Rajwa. I hope you're all doing very, very well and you're ready for this festive season. Well, just thought I would share with you how I brine my turkey and prep it ready for Christmas dinner, okay? So I just did a quick filming for you all. So first of all, we wash and clean the turkey. Just like you see me do, you can wash it with vinegar, you can wash it with salt, you can wash it with lemon, okay? Any of these processes is sure to make sure that the, chick the turkey, nearly said chicken there, <laughs> the turkey is well cleaned, okay? Right, and make sure to chop that turkey tail off excess fats i mean you can keep it later in the process just to um, generate excess fat for the turkey because we all know turkey to be extremely dry okay and most of the time we all have difficulty using turkey because of the dryness of the meat but this process is sure to keep your turkey moist okay so wash 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 make sure it's all nice and clean and onto the ingredients for the brining process so got two onions i also have some garlic ginger i have here just as you can see some herbs get my water ready so first of all i put my salt into the water yeah and then my chicken spices all purpose chicken spice whichever spice that you've got you can use that into that i put my eggy awaria as well and some chilies as well as black pepper whichever taste that you want to have in your turkey make sure you go for that ginger goes in there as well as my garlic and onions chop them up and then put them in this is the brining process for the turkey. Be sure to look into the description box for everything that I've used for this brining process. So once I'm done, I put in my rosemary. And then I'll be adding my thyme and my sage. Everything that you need going into that, make sure you put into the brining process because that's where you're going to derive the taste from. So just follow me as we go along. So once all of that is going in, be sure to stir. And then in goes the turkey. Try to make sure you turn around to make sure it's very much submerged into the brine. And then what we're going to do is we cover it and then we are yeah, going to leave this overnight. So whilst we leave that to soak, we are going to also make our marinade. Again, we are going to use the same ingredients to make the marinade because we are going for some sort of a heavy, a heavy taste. Turkey. Okay. So again, we're going to be putting in our sage, our rosemary, our thyme. That's what we're trying to derive with this process ginger garlic everything goes in so that's my cajun seasoning just like so some salt Here we go. 
so after 24 hours you want to bring your brine turkey out who is now ready for the marinade be sure to go under the skin of the turkey so once it gets soaked you can see that it's easy to just go under the skin and to put all the marinade because we want the marinade to go on the meat itself So you can tell by the time this is done, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you are sure to wow your family, you're sure to wow your guests, okay? Excellent stuff. And be gentle with it as well, massage it. Let it go everywhere. Be very, very gentle with the process. Also be sure to tie the legs of the turkey and push it in so it doesn't stick all the way out. Other than that, once it's baked, you see that it's sticking all the way out, sort of comes separate and then it goes everywhere. So be make, be make sure to tuck it in, okay? So once we're happy with that, we're gonna refrigerate that and then we go straight onto our vegetables like i said we're going for this sort of veggie heavy taste so be sure to add in your vegetables any vegetable of choice you can use that yeah so once we all done and then in the turkey goes if you've enjoyed watching my turkey brining and prepping procedure okay and i hope you do use it this christmas and new year right thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel be part of the dinner with the Raja family see you in my next video bye and god bless you merry christmas